I know what you are all thinking. What? What does that even mean? So I am going to tell you the story of my friend Ramu, the farmer, to help you understand derivatives better. My friend Ramu is a farmer who raises cattle. He has 10 cows and wants to sell them in the market one year from now. He knows he will spend 30 rupees per cow to raise them. So his total investment will be 300 rupees. But now he's worried that if another spell of mad cow disease breaks out, he won't get much money for his cattle when he decides to sell them. So, to protect his business, Ramu meets an investor's broker and enters a business contract with him. You are the investor who has sent your broker to Ramu. You may think that mad cow disease is not likely to occur. So you tell your broker to agree to pay Ramu 100 rupees per cow one year from now, irrespective of the market price. What you've just done is entered a futures contract. Basically, futures are contracts that obligate the buyer to buy an asset and the seller to sell the asset at a predetermined future date and price. In this case, the futures contract obligates Ramu to sell his 10 cows to you at 100 rupees per cow one year from now and obligates you to buy them then at that price. Ramu agrees to this because this means that one year from now, whatever the market price is, he will get a profit of 100 rupees minus 30 rupees, that is 70 rupees per cow. He has limited his risk and locked in his profit. Ramu is playing it safe and it works out well for him. But what about you? If you're right and mad cow disease does not break out, let's see what position you'll be in one year from now. One year from now, the price of cows in the open market may even soar to 200 rupees per cow. This means that you will buy his cows for 100 rupees per cow and sell them in the open market for 200 rupees, making a profit of 100 rupees per cow or 1000 rupees on an investment of 1000 rupees. Wow! This is all pretty clear sailing so far, right? Right! But hang on a second. But what if you are wrong and there is a spell of mad cow disease? In this situation, the market price could drop to even 20 rupees a cow. Uh-oh, this spells trouble for you. This means you will have to pay 100 rupees for each cow and be able to sell them for only 20 rupees per cow. Which means you will make a loss of 80 rupees per cow or 800 rupees on an investment of 1000 rupees. Hmm, yes. That's a huge risk to take. So is there a way that as an investor, you can limit your risk? Luckily for you, yes, there is. If as an investor, you do not want to take the risk of losing too much money, you could simply have an agreement with your broker called stop loss. This means that as soon as it becomes clear that your loss will go beyond a certain level, he will exit the futures contract and stop your losses from getting worse. Now, what does that really mean? It means that if as an investor, you instruct your broker to stop your losses at 50 rupees per cow, the minute the market price reaches 50, he will exit the contract by selling it to someone else and stop your losses at 50 rupees per cow. <sighs> so now you have limited your risk. 